The rebel alliance in northern Myanmar has reportedly agreed to a ceasefire with the ruling military during China-mediated talks, providing a potential respite from the month-long coordinated offensive waged by the ethnic minority armies against the junta. Now, this development comes amid heightened tension since the military's overthrow of the elected government back in 2021. With ethnic minority groups seeking to end the junta's control over their regions, particularly along the northern border with China. This joint offensive, supported by the parallel pro democracy civilian led government, has presented the most substantial battlefield challenge to the junta since the coup, raising concerns in China about the potential disruptions to border trade and refuge influx. According to a leader of the one of the rebel groups, TNLA, also known as the Three Brotherhood Alliance, and the military, both have agreed for a ceasefire without advancing further. This agreement, as outlined, entails refraining from offensive attacks on enemy camps and towns by the alliance and a commitment from the military to not engage in any sort of attack through airstrike, bombardment or heavy weapons. The China's foreign ministry also confirmed that peace talks occurred in the Chinese city of Kunming on 10th and 11th January, during which both sides agreed to an immediate ceasefire and halt the ongoing civil war. Additionally, both parties have pledged not to harm residents at the Chinese border. China's foreign ministry spokeswoman Mao Ning emphasized China's hope for the earnest implementation of the ceasefire agreement and the exercise of maximum restraint by concerned parties in Myanmar. This announcement follows a similar statement from Beijing last month, indicating that the parties have agreed to a temporary ceasefire and would maintain a dialogue. However, recent reports indicate that fighting still persists in the northern Shan state and other regions with rebels taking control of the key commercial town of Lakui on the Chinese border. The conflict has seen displacement of more than 300,000 people in the recent violence and more than 2 million overall since the coup happened, according to the data from the United Nations. The situation has also seen Myanmar police and the military personnel surrendering to the rebel group or fleeing across the borders into India. As of now, the representative of the Myanmar Janta have not responded to requests of the comment on the ceasefire. However, the two of the other groups in the rebel alliance, the Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army and the Arakan Army have not immediately provided comments on the peace talks, raising suspicions that whether they are interested in the ceasefire or not. The intricacies of the ceasefire agreement and its potential implications for the border geopolitical landscape in the region remains to be seen. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.